Hi, it's Wesley with 22 Zines, and I am doing a VR to the tarot tag Dollhouse Card House. And if you haven't seen this tag, then <laughs> I am not surprised because it was created by our good friend Nina of Echo Zines on her blog. So she is not on YouTube, but had uh, created this tarot tag for use on Instagram and and YouTube and anybody who wanted to participate on a blog post. Uh, if you haven't seen her blog yet, I'll of course link it down below. It is fabulous. It's got a whole bunch of zine stuff. It's got witchy YouTube video recommendations. It's got cool personal stuff and she's in a band and she's just like the coolest person ever. <laughs> and I really love her blog and I've been following it for a while. Um, so of course I am super excited to drag this <laughs> tarot tag over to YouTube. So the idea behind this tag is basically inspired by uh, tags about uh, tarot decks that you would want to live in or that make you feel very comfortable and homey, such as the hashtags living in tarot and um, there was another one that I can't remember, <laughs> but it's sort of inspired by those where this twist is basically to use individual cards from your tarot decks to sort of construct a dream house, <laughs> sort of like you would a... Um, you know, playing with Legos or or dollhouses or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm basically, I've picked some cards, sort of like a small selection for each room slash area that I would want in my dream house. <laughs> I'm making Wesley's dream house. And it's, you know, I'm, I'm kind of jazzed about going to see the Barbie movie, honestly. <laughs> so I feel like this is just kind of the perfect time for this. But yeah, obviously, like, if you want to participate on YouTube, I am sure that Nina would be super thrilled to be able to watch a bunch of videos for a tag that she's created. So I highly encourage you to um, participate if you enjoy. Just as important as the town itself. <clears throat> Just as important as the dream house itself for me is the town and the area and the neighborhood surrounding it. And so this little spread here is sort of my, whatever you would call it, mood board for the flair that I want the area to have. Um, and I guess I'll just kind of go through. Um, I really enjoy living on the North Shore here in Massachusetts. I really love being near the beach, but it's not so much like a Barbie beach, a sunny beach where everybody goes surfing and whatever, but sort of the moody, um, old grumpy sailor type beach. So that's why I've chosen uh, this, the Five of Swords from the Animal and Food Tarot, just to capture the dark, gloomy, moody, wet beach, um, a very rocky beach, and the piers and having sort of the old maritime uh, history aspects, I think, is really, is really fun. I really like that. Um, and then this is um, from the... Wait, what is this from again? Creature Secrets Animal Divination Cards. Um, and I picked this just because, like, the the hermit crab, it, it feels like a cold beach, you know, and it feels like just an old shed that he's carrying around, and it it feels very um, cool. And I, and I guess what I really like about that is I feel like it makes the beach feel contemplative and, and relaxed in a way. So um, I would really love to live near a beach of sorts, you know, a rocky beach. Um, I want the town that I live in to be bikeable. <laughs> that is the only reason that I chose this card is because it has this bicycle on it and it feels very like, yep, I can go anywhere that I need to go. Um, the town that I'm living in right now, I, I mean, a lot of these are honestly influenced by the town that I'm living in right now, which is great. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, if I could like settle and find a dream house here, that would be perfect. Um, I chose, oh, and this is from the Tarot Cats. Um, this is from the Howl Tarot, and I chose this because I want to have an area that's not as developed. I like having little natural areas, even if they're small, just kind of like hidden, hidden away or among the buildings and things. I'd like to be able to have a place that's 
more um, separate that I can just wander and and be a part of nature as well, like a little walkway, foresty bits, that sort of thing. Um, I chose this from the Witchy Cat because <laughs> I really like the historical aspect. I love graveyards. I think they're cool. I honestly don't visit all that many of them. It's not a big hobby of mine to go and visit graveyards. I kind of would like to, but I think that more importantly is um, just the aspect of of history, I guess, that's implied by graveyards. Um, having a place that's been established and that I can really get engaged with local history and um, communities past, I don't know what you'd call that. Um, I chose this from the Alchemical Visions Tarot um, for two reasons. One, because I like the old building up here. Like, wouldn't it be so cool to live in a town that has a castle, like a resident castle, um, that you could go tour, you know, or just go and visit or a museum or just like to see it off there in the distance. There are some castles, there are actually legitimately some castles around here in the North Shore of New England. And it's just, it's still, it floors me because I never would have thought you'd be able to get anything like that except in, you know... Europe or something. <laughs> so that's really cool. And I also, um, I like that it's surrounded by nature. So, you know, something that's not too overdeveloped, that's not just city for miles and miles and miles around. And the the celebration aspect, it would be nice to live in a place that has events occasionally, has arts events, has pride events, has things that I can do to go out and um, get involved and personally connected with the other people in the community. So uh, that's what that one represents. And then uh, these two, this being again from the um, creature, uh, I forgot the name of it again, whatever, the, the same as the crab. And then this from the Bohemian Am Animal Tarot. And these I think are just trying to capture the, the feeling of the streets and the architecture of, you know, I really like this sort of narrow street, the the brick cobblestone street, the old lamp, and everybody, you know, <laughs> being kind of close, having the flowers everywhere. This just feels like such a comfortable, wouldn't this be such a comfortable little downtown street to walk down and taking a little stroll? And again, having little architectural details like this. And I just like the, I like the pigeons. <laughs> you know, have some local wildlife as well. Yeah, so this this represents the uh, the town that I want to live in. My dream town in which my dream house is situated. And now we can get closer and closer to the house by first coming through the yard and garden <laughs> up to the house. Yeah, so this is sort of representing what I would want my yard garden to be like and feel like. I guess I'll just go through it sort of one card at a time again. Um, this one, if I had to pick like a single card to sum it up, this one comes pretty close. It's from the Everyday Witch Tarot. Um, and I'm, <laughs> I mean, the fruit tree for one is really important and prevalent to me. I really, really want to have fruit trees and just sort of, um, I don't know what you'd call it, but like a passive garden, like per a lot of perennial plants and perennial foods. And just having a, uh, I love the cobblestone here too, um, the mix of potted plants and plants in the ground, and just a very um, mismatched garden that feels comfortable just to go out and relax and read a book or a zine or some tarot. <laughs> pretty, pretty some, just about sums it up. As far as what I'd want the actual garden to feel like. I think, I can't exactly explain why, but this is the vibe that I want the garden to have, is just a little bit wild, a little bit weird, but still pretty. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how to describe this one. I love the spider web too. I am, I would like to include areas for spiders and bugs and animals in the in the dream garden. And this one is kind of 
this is just so specific is that I really, really want a little bridge, even if it doesn't go over anything. Um, it's kind of a thing out here where uh, some old houses will just have like these teeny tiny little bridges, like four step bridges that they'll either go over a little ditch that doesn't even go very far, like a drainage ditch, I guess, or it just doesn't even go any over anything. It's just sort of in the yard. Uh, and I don't really know where they came from or why they are popular out here, but I love them so much. It is so cool. And I really want a little bridge. I don't, I'm sure there's some symbolism. I'm sure I could do some magic things or whatever with it, but just, I just want a bridge just because it looks cool. Um, I chose this one. Oh, did I mention this is from the Forest of Enchantment and this is from the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. And then this is from the Weird Sisters Oracle, W-Y-R-D. And I, I like the idea of a, of a bonfire. It'd be nice to have a little fire pit. Um, but I feel like this is almost more capturing the sense of community and like backyard parties that I'd like to have where I, I would really love to have a coven, I guess, or just have a group of people who we f have sort of a similar spirituality and we gather and hang out occasionally and it's sort of halfway a magical working and halfway just hanging out and, um, you know, having a place to experience that and celebrate community and have a place where you can fully be yourself around other people. And I think the garden is just such a nice place for that, to be able to do that outside. Um, and there's just something very classic, I guess, about have, about doing that in, in a bonfire, uh, in, in the context of fire. So really like that image. Um, this one, it's, I would like a hammock of sorts or just a place to lie down and relax. Um, I also picked, uh, um, my partner Sean picked this one out too because he helped me go and pick a lot of these because my dream home would also include my partner and so I'd want to make sure it's both of our dream home. And so yeah, I gotta have a little hammock in there. Um, this is, oh and this is from the Shadowland Tarot. I'm just gonna continually forget to name the tarot cards. This is from the Camelot Oracle and it I really like the idea of having a little separate shed garage kind of thing because I have this vision of uh, using it for band practice or like if we had a kid, if they got to use it as band practice or when they're a teenager, they're like, you know what, I really want to, I really want to go and I want to make my own room. And, you know, they're ready to move rooms and they're like, oh, can I take over the shed and, and we can make that my room? You know, I just some some a place that can be creative and that and scrappy and just not have so many um it doesn't have to be as as set you know I don't know just like a fluid outdoor building <laughs> I guess and then these these two this one is from the guided hand uh tarot and this is from animal and food again and it would be really nice. Like, first of all, I just think it would be so cool to have statuary. These are probably a little too large, but I love the idea of just little, little statues throughout sort of hidden among the garden and, and like the aspect of discovery and using the garden as much as a place for art as anywhere else. And this again, sort of including the celebratory aspect. And I love this arbor. I love the greenhouse. It would be so cool to have a greenhouse. Um, <laughs> I, and the big trees, you know, the big established trees. I think, yeah, these these totally capture what I want out of the garden super well. And now we've arrived at the outside of the house, <laughs> the sort of architectural style. Um, yeah, so first of all, this one, uh, uh, Nina also used this exact card to sort of represent the roof of the house, which I'm so not surprised. I'm sure that we have multiple cards that overlap. Um, <laughs> this one is from the Samhain uh, Oracle, the Seasons of the Witch Samhain Oracle. And I, I love the different shades of black and purple and the dark colors. I love the turret. I've always wanted to live in a house that has a little turret or, or, you know, observatory. I like the Victorian style. I love the little balcony. So yeah, really just really like 
that. I want to I want to live in the Adams family house, you know, <laughs> but that would be so cool. Um, this is, again, just speaking of Adam's Family House from the Shadowland Tarot, definitely has that, um, you know, feeling. I mean, this character even kind of looks like Cousin It, which I think is funny. <laughs> but yeah, turret, old building layers. This one has a porch, which is nice because uh, my partner has always wanted a porch out front, um, like a semi-enclosed porch. Um, some of the... he's has a lot of family in the south and so has his fond memories of that and there's a lot of really pretty buildings out here that have these little porches um and then the rest of these i feel like are just are try i'm trying to capture the overall architectural um style where it's like i like this victorian thing i also really love half timbered homes like this the sort of um because it feels like a very german style and uh there's a lot of houses that look like this out here in new england with the stucco uh, walls and then the timbered lines and beams and things on the front which i just think is really pretty and it's something that my dad always wanted in his dream house and i just feel like it would be such a nice way to carry that forward this is kind of the same thing um like set that down. This is from The Everyday Witch, and this is also from The Everyday Witch. Um, this is sort of a similar thing. I like the colorful um, uh, trim on this house, and I don't necessarily want, like, a really big house that includes, you know, something that's, like, Victorian big or something. So I, I think that... I guess all of this I'm trying to I'm trying to express, like, German Victorian. <laughs> and I don't even... I don't know how to capture that exactly. And I like this one too from the Everyday Witch just because um, I love these little gable... What are these? The gable is the roof. I forgot what these are called. These, the, the little windows that peek out. Um, the tiny little architectural details painted on. I love the colorful trim. Like a dark house with colorful trim would be really cool. Or just go very classic with the, you know, just wooden beams yeah <laughs> so i guess this kind of get you know an older style house i guess i would like to get an actually old house sean's a little more hesitant sean my partner is a little bit more hesitant about it i would love to be able to restore an older house or just you know keep it keep it going in some way um yeah so this is sort of the architectural style that my dream house would have and now at last we may go inside. <laughs> um, this is from the Gorgon's Tarot. I really love this, the checkered floor, and I love this little sunbeam uh, window, I guess. for This would be like for the front entrance. I love the plants, and um, I always love a checkerboard floor. <laughs> I just, I feel like this feels so welcoming and open and yet still cozy. I don't like things where you come in and it's just like a big empty room and there's all this tall ceilings and height and space and it just feels like too grand and overwhelming, but it would still be nice to have, you know, a little bit of of openness so it's not like you're walking straight into a hallway or straight up the stairs or anything like that. Um, so I like that. It'd be so cool to have a stained glass window, and this one in particular from the New Wave Tarot has a lion on it, a winged lion. Love lions, so it'd be great to have. <laughs> it's so pretty, it's so cool. And then this is from the Edward Gorey, uh, what what was it, Fantod pack, um, and I just picked this for the wallpaper, <laughs> because again, like I like the older style, and so it would be really cool to have uh, patterned wallpaper in in sort of an older style and I think that the the entryway would be a good place for that in particular because um it wouldn't it probably wouldn't get damaged or anything like that yeah so this would be the entryway and here we would have a living room or I suppose you could call it like a parlor or perhaps this could be a sunroom something like that it's just like a general living room I guess um and what I really am trying to picture is like very large windows um that 
that let you see out into the front and just a lot of comfy cozy furniture and the sort of place where you would bring your teacups and we'd probably eat in there a few times and you'd have a lot of plants and it's just like a, a you know a, a cozy sunroom space you know I would really want something like that um to represent that I've chosen this from the Gorgon's Tarot I really love the big windows. I love all the comfy furniture and all the plants throughout and the two little rats here. Just have it be very animal friendly. Um, just a nice, um, you know, I want to keep it playful. I don't want it to be too, you know, stuffy, claustrophobic kind of parlor, you know. And of course I love all the cups. Just like to come and, come and have some tea. Come and hang out. Um, I chose this from the um, desert what was this called? Desert Cats? Tarot, tarot, tarot Cats. Hang on, I'm just gonna check the creator. Tarot Cats by Bunny D. There's just some, a lot of tarot cats, cat tarot, etc. <laughs> um, and I really love cacti. I really want to have more varieties of cacti. I have one that I am just obsessed with, and I, it's an Espasota Guanteri, and I just, I want to have more cacti, and especially in the front, like when I was a kid, we had a big selection of pots of cacti that we would just set out on the front. We just had like a little concrete stoop kind of thing, and so we just had a whole bunch of cacti out there when I was in Colorado um, <laughs> growing up, and I'd love to be able to have that. I probably wouldn't want to keep them outside just because it'd be, you know, cacti don't really like humidity very well and it gets cold out here too. It gets cold in Colorado, but you know, it's a little bit more consistent that you can bring them in. You know when to bring them in. Um, anyway, so I'd like to have a place where I can have a bunch of cacti. I have this from the Animal and Food Tarot, just again for like the little nice having a cup of tea um, feeling. <laughs> Feels very parlory. And I love this chair. Can I please have this chair? Somebody make me this chair, this giant wingback checkerboard chair from the Dreaming Way uh, tarot. It is so cool. I love checkerboards. I love black and white. And so I would, I'm satisfied with any sort of checkerboard pattern on pretty much anything. <laughs> Nearby to the parlor, I guess adjacent to the parlor, would be the kitchen. And I really, I guess it's sort of like kitchen slash dining room. I wouldn't really want to bother to have a formal dining room. I've always loved having a little like breakfast nook or a little area that's right next to the kitchen that you can hang out and eat. And so that when one person is cooking, the other can hang out there. And it just feels a lot more communal, communal is having the table in the kitchen. And I'm especially remembering my grandma's house, which had like this lovely table that was in her kitchen because she had converted her dining room into her music room where she had her piano. And so I just, I love that. And that's why I picked this uh, card here from the Animal and Food Tarot is just a nice, cute little dining area. It doesn't have to be large. I don't need a large table. I don't want a large table, just like a nice, cozy little eating nook that's sort of in the kitchen or off, you know, very close off the kitchen. Um... I chose this from the Goblins and Gardens Tarot um, as part of the um, food prep area. It'd be nice to have a window or, or multiple windows in the kitchen. And I say that in particular because my current kitchen is sort of in like a hallway thing, so it doesn't have any windows, which is, you know, it's fine. But for my dream house, I want to have windows in the kitchen. Um, It'd be really cool to be able to grow some herbs or tomatoes or things just in like a planter box right out of the kitchen window like this. Um, yeah, just have it be bright, perhaps looking out into the garden. Uh, that would be really nice. And then I have this. <laughs> I have this card from the uh, Guided Hand Tarot because I really... I really want to represent being able to just go and get groceries in sort of single loads like this. I don't want to have to go out and stock up on a bunch of groceries. We are within walking distance to a grocery store right now, and it's like slightly more expensive as far as grocery stores go because it's like a smaller community market kind of thing. But oh my god, it makes grocery shopping so much more 
genuinely enjoyable. I don't think that I, it's very rare that I can say I enjoy grocery shopping, but being able to walk down to a grocery store and get just a couple bags worth of food and bring it back, I really want to be able to do that. Um, and I just love the, the abundance of, of food and things that <laughs> this figure is carrying and, um, being able to get things fresh, so I like that. Bring or bring things in from the garden, perhaps. And then this is from the Force of Enchantment Tarot, and it's just like having a big long table um, for for cooking and stirring on and being able to spread out a little bit. Um, it's not even that I need that much counter space in terms of like I don't want a kitchen island or anything like that. I don't mind a galley kitchen, just anything where I have like a a space, you know, a, a long horizontal space would be nice. Um, <laughs> and I just love this, this, um, I feel like there's an element of experimentation in the kitchen in this picture that I, I would definitely want my dream house to be able to encourage. And next up, I would definitely want to have a room that's sort of like a combination library slash magical space <laughs> where I would have all of my tarot decks and all of my books. I would like to be able to have all my books and tarot in the same place and just like a nice smallish room, like like kind of an old school um, office, like, you know, the Mark Twain house office where it's, <laughs> it's, it's older, it's cozier, there's a lot of fabrics and deep colors. Um, it doesn't have to be super brightly lit. Um, that's sort of why I picked this card from the Seasons of the Witch Sawing Oracle, is just having having wall space and having these candles and just, you know, a, a nice little window, having it be just like a nice, pretty, elegant little thing. It doesn't have to be more glass windows everywhere. In fact, I'd prefer it not to be. Just have it be a little bit cozier, a little um, more, feel a little less exposed, I guess is kind of the word. Um, this one, if I had to choose a single card for this um, room, it would probably be this one from the Bohemian Animal Tarot. <laughs> this is the Strength card, which I just, I love that so much. And it's got, you know, art on the walls, and it's got a whole bunch of books that the, the badger here is able to read. It has a fireplace. I don't know about fireplace. Maybe like a wood-burning stove would be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, just being able to have have books around and have a little bit of space in the middle to walk around. Um, you know, all I really need, just like a bunch of shelves and a chair <laughs> would be great. Um, I chose these two cards to kind of represent the more... Um, witchy aspects about it, about some of the things that I would do in it to this one from the Tarot Cats and this one from the Everyday Witch. Um, definitely this is where I would do tarot readings and potentially other fortune telling. And um, I don't know why I picked this one in particular, because I don't do a lot of mixing or potionry or anything, but I just think I think, you know, having having the herbs hanging and having the book at the ready, just being able to pick up anything that I need from that little area and just um, play and do some, some magical workings. Um, I don't even do magical workings, but whatever. Just like a little magical space where I can play around. Um, I chose these two cards from the Tarot of Vampires. Uh, this one, I almost purely, I couldn't decide between the two. I feel like these kind of get at the same thing. Uh, this one, I liked this one because I love this tiny little window where you can see some of the stars out of it. I think that is so great. And because I love these little, I sort of picture these as a hanging scales, like a Libra scale, um, which I really like. And what I like about both of these is that the figure just feels very comfortable and confident and, um, because the room does not feel exposed, then they are able to be, um, they, they don't feel exposed. You know, they, it seems that they feel comfortable and confident and, um, you know, alone, having, having a little alone space where they can do 
their special important things. Um, and this one I just, I really like having, I just like the sitting on the ground thing and sort of having the circle area. I don't, I don't cast circles, but you know, just sort of from a, it'd be nice to have just like a big circular rug or just like a place to sit down on the floor. I like that too. So yeah, I guess combination magic slash library space because libraries are magical. <laughs> oh my God, that was so tacky. And my partner, Sean, and I definitely need to have an art room and we need to have an art room where we can both create. And so having a lot of table space, having our art supplies in there and just being able to be very colorful, have a whole bunch of stuff on the walls. Basically, like, I just want my current art room, <laughs> which I've turned off in a video before um, where I was like showing off my my desk. I I just want that again, maybe ever so slightly larger so that it can, so that Sean can be in the room with me. But yeah, and I think that these kind of capture it. I just like the, the big table and I like the fact that this is printed. This is from the Autonomic uh, Tarot. And just the, you know, the, the screen printing lino cut, you know, scrappy, messy, a, pl a place where I feel able to get messy <laughs> is nice. Um, and having the pen and having a place to make zines, having all my zine making things and, and maybe having the zine, my zine collection in there would be great. Um, tons of paint. <laughs> this is definitely for Sean. Um, cause he just has a very large collection of different, uh, model paints and model painting things. That's something that he likes to do is, is build and paint models. So, um, we have like a lot of little tiny cups of paint, <laughs> having places to have those and just store. I think what I also like about this is, and, and Sean was the one who picked this card out. And what I like about this too, is that it feels in progress. It feels like, you know, all these paint things are open. And so having, areas where we can leave in progress projects so that we can come back to them and not necessarily have to be like, well, we got to move all this stuff because I don't have anywhere to do my taxes or whatever, <laughs> you know, having a dedicated art space where we can have, you know, in progress projects all the time would be great. Um, and I picked this kind of because I'd love to, I want to have my own house where I can paint on the walls. And I know I'm getting, I'm getting so greedy here where I'm still thrilled that I am now in an apartment where I can put thumbtacks in the walls instead of having to use command strips. I fucking hate command strips. I have a whole rant about it in one of my zines. And like, I just, I am so endlessly happy to be able to put pins on the walls and so I'm just thinking like, man, wouldn't it also be so great if I could just paint directly on the wall? <laughs> if I could just do art like everywhere. Um, yeah, so that's kind of why I picked this one too. And I picked this um, mostly for the colors, uh, just because I really like the colored trim. I like the weird kind of gross wallpaper. Just, you know, I think it contributes to the whole... Um, colorful, weird and wacky art room feeling. And last we have the bedroom. Um, presumably I would also have a bedroom for our kid, <laughs> you know, but I'll leave that up to them, what they want their dream bedroom to look like. So this for, is just for me and Sean. Um, it's like a, uh, this one is from the Oh, I did that thing again. Hang on. Tarot Cats, Autonomic, Shadowland, um, Brit's Third Eye Tarot. Okay. Now we can go to the bedroom. <laughs> Our bedroom would... This is from the uh, Everyday Witch. This is also from the Brit's Third Eye Tarot. And this is from the Witchy Cat Tarot. Um, the... I think... What I really like about this is I like having a large table near the bed because I always have stacks of books or things if I've been drawing in bed or if I just want to set my laptop down <laughs> or whatever. So having, you know, having a really large table is nice. Um, I really like the the warm reds and drapery and I guess this would be sort of reminiscent, I guess, of the little magical library. Um, 
you know, having lots of fabrics everywhere. That's kind of what this is for too. Is just have have fabrics everywhere. I really like the um canopy princess bed kind of thing. I can't decide if I would actually enjoy having it, but I there I I at least like the look of it. So who knows, maybe you know, maybe I could include that in in the dream house too. Um but you know, having the very jewel tone richer darker um fabrics i guess in in you know to make it feel warm and cozy um i also picked these because i feel like both of these feel like a very small room i don't want a large bedroom i want it to be very small i like having just i like my <laughs> relaxing spaces to be very small and and cozy. You know, I want the magical room to be small. I want the bedroom to be small. I want the art room to be big enough that we can work in it, but it doesn't need to be like a super large studio or anything. I I mean, I just like smaller rooms. I feel like I can do more with them and it's a good thing that I like smaller rooms because the architecture the buildings that have the architectural styles I like are going to have very small rooms. <laughs> So I really like those. Oh, and of course, having the journal on the bed, like I need a place to set that. Um, yeah, so these for the bed and then just not really much else in the room is necessary. Just a little area to to get dressed is nice. I like this mirror, again, the sort of gilding and, you know, again, like the rich reds and the dark colors, I think make a very nice, cozy rich feeling bedroom. Not riches and wealthy, but you know, rich, riches and depth. Okay, so that's all the rooms that I really want to have. Um, you know, it's somewhat modest, I suppose I shouldn't say that. It has a giant garden with a bunch of statues in it, and it has a dedicated art room and a dedicated magical library room and all these things, but you know, it's not a giant, not a, not a super giant house. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I would definitely love to see some of your cards that would represent your dream house. <laughs> and uh, if you want to respond, then use the hashtag dollhouse card house. Um, and that means that Nina of Echozines can see all of the <laughs> cool ideas that have spawned forth from from her very first tarot tag. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you like my dream house. Love to see yours. I'll talk to you later. Bye.